had the cowboy hat go? <laughs> did he leave or did he go to the bathroom? My whole set was gonna be about him and now he just disappears. <laughs> I was gonna ask him if I could wear his hat. They, they, cowboys don't like when you wear their hats, they're very sentimental. But whatever, I'm horny. Uh, happy uh, New Year, happy 2020. Say it back to me. Thank you, thank you guys. That's very nice of you. My my New Year's resolution I decided is that I'm gonna be 2020. I'm gonna be a fucking hot guy. I can't wait. I started. I actually started last year. I started losing weight um, because you have to, you can't be fat and hot. It's against the rules. So I, I started losing a bunch of weight. I lost like 40 pounds. So I'm on my way. But here's the issue. Oh, hey, what's up? I gotta talk to you about something. Can I be honest? You're way younger than I thought you were going to be. From back there, I thought you were an old man. I never see a young guy in a cowboy hat. Do I look good in this? Do I look hot? Do I look hot? Okay. Okay, so I turned out all right. Do I actually look hot or does this look silly? Guys are saying hot, women are saying silly. Perfect. <laughs> Whatever, I think I look hot. That shirt is too small for you. It's okay. This hat is actually very comfortable. Can I have that? How much did it cost? 60 bucks? If I give you 60 bucks, can I have that? It? It's fucking used! I'll give you 20 bucks. I think I have it. Um, oh. Is that yours? That like went in my mouth. Okay, I, I want to talk about being hot. It's very important to me. Um, so here, here's the thing. I lost 40 pounds to try to be hot. And um, nobody told me that. Because I thought when you get skinny, you just like, you become a hot guy. <laughs> But it's actually your same face. <laughs> Which sucks for people like me. Because I, I, I mean, it, it's almost your exact, it's like a little bit smaller, but it's, nobody can even tell. They're like, oh, you, I know who you are. <laughs> I thought I would just become a fucking hot guy, dude. It's hard. It's really hard. And the other thing is like, I'm, um, I'm six foot four, which is very tall. But nobody in my life has ever described me as tall. People, they've always referred to me as a big guy. Which just means that you're tall and kind of fat. You see right through that shit. And there's not, there's not like a lot of benefits to being a, a big guy. There's not a lot of things that are good about it. Uh, but the worst thing is something you guys probably don't even realize you do. It's subconscious. But everyone in this room fucking does it. The worst part about being a big guy is that anytime one of us walks out of a bathroom, Whoever sees us leave just assumes that we took a big, gross, nasty shit. And that's not fucking fair, dude. We're regular-ass people. We just pee sometimes. Picture me walking out of a bathroom. You're like, oh, good God. Picture a skinny guy walking out of a bathroom. You're like, oh, I bet that guy was in there washing his hands. It's not fair. I also, I feel like I'm in the middle, with, like looks-wise, like with trying to be hot. Because when I, when I call myself ugly, people are, have, they've always been like, oh, you're not ugly. And I'm like, oh, so I'm hot? And they're always like, well, I just kind of feel stuck, you know? And I, I know that I kind of look weird. People have told me that my whole life. Um, I, I kind of look like a father and a, his son had a baby. <laughs> Which isn't great for me. I, I'll tell you about the first time I found out I might be um, ugly. It was when I was in high school. And uh, I was in, in high school I was in the musical. Not because I'm like a fucking nerd. It's because I really wanted to be a bully. But the kids on the football team were very mean to me. So I had to quit. I joined the musical. Uh, I became the, the musical bully. 
which, which is actually one of the easiest things I've ever done. All you have to do is call the kids gay, and they're like, how do you know that already? I thought I was a fucking psychic. Um, but, but karma got me back because my senior year we did uh, the musical Beauty and the Beast, which you guys are familiar with. And I, of course, got cast as... No, Beauty. No, I was cast as the Beast. Um, mostly because of this. Didn't really, I didn't have to sing or anything. Um, but at the end of the musical, there's a scene where the beast uh, magically turns into like a handsome prince. And my school got a different god. <laughs> it was fucked up that is. We were like 15 years old. And the director was like, no, that's not believable. The hottest girl in my school played Belle. Her name was Brittany. And right before I was about to kiss her, I had to run off stage. <laughs> well, a fucking hotter 15-year-old boy. That's fucked up, dude. The worst part about it is that... <laughs> they, they didn't even make me wear a mask. <laughs> they just drew little whiskers on my face and were like... You're a monster. That's you. Shit fucking sucks, dude. <laughs> Someone the other day did tell me I was hot, so I feel like I'm making progress. <laughs> <laughs> what do you guys think? You're hot. I wasn't asking you. <laughs> <laughs> what do you two specifically think? <laughs> Scale of one to ten. You think I'm a nine? You're a fucking retard. What do you think? <laughs> I want an honest answer. A seven? And yeah, like you're so much to look at. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You're you're fine. I think you're like you're like a seven. A Covina seven. I live in LA. LA's different. We have higher standards. You know? I'm gay anyway. I'm just kidding, I'm not gay, I'm not gay, I'm not gay. It's funny, I it's funny to try to choose to be hot because you can't you can't do it. It isn't like being gay. It's very different. You have to be more That's a joke I forgot to say earlier, but I did. Thank you. Um, do you guys have anything specific you want to talk about before I go? Can I keep this for real? 40 bucks? How long ago did you buy it? Last week. Bullshit. From where? You bought it on Christmas Day? You, you bought it on Christmas Day in Texas for 60 bucks. No, New Year's. Right, Christmas is a little bit before New Year's. 60 bucks. Goodwill? <laughs> Boot barn. No, you are wearing boots. Yeah. Oh, some of you were wearing Skechers and then I would mock you. Are you, are you visiting or you live in Covina? I live here. But you just dress, you dress like this for, <laughs> for family. Yeah. Oh. Your family is like, we want a cowboy. <laughs> Each his own. Uh, do you want this back or can I wear it till the end of the night or what? Right now? Yeah, you can grab it from my fucking head. I've been lifting weights, dude. I'm getting ready for the race war. You can try it for me. <laughs> okay, you can have it back. I love you guys so much. Thank you all for coming. Good luck,